Hello everyone, my name is DJ Barry and today we have some more exciting news as Sundial Grower's acquisition of Arcana has officially closed. And in this video, we'll be breaking down all the details about the deal and everything else you guys need to know about SNDL. And before we begin, comment your price predictions for tomorrow down below and now let's get right into this video. So finally, after the date has been delayed twice, Sundial Grower's acquisition of Alcana has officially been completed. Now, Sundial legally owns Alcana and 63% of Nova Cannabis. And the price tag for this deal was actually cheaper than it originally was. And back when the acquisition was announced in October, Sundial said that they'll be paying $346 million to acquire Alcana. But in the announcement they released today, they said they have acquired Alcana for approximately $320 million, which is great to see because they are now saving that extra $26 million and they can put that money towards another move to grow the company. And this Alcana acquisition is helping Sundial grow as a company because now Sundial Growers is Canada's largest private liquor retailer and cannabis retailer with 171 liquor stores and over 180 cannabis locations. And this acquisition will benefit SNDL in pretty much every way as we'll see improved cash flow, more opportunities in the cannabis space and now exposure to a whole new sector which is the liquor sector. And of course, we'll also see Sundial's revenue greatly improve as for the fourth quarter of 2021, Alcana reported a revenue of over $210 million. And for the full year of 2021, they had a revenue of over $726 million, which is just incredible. So that means for just $320 million, Sundial will be adding over $700 million a year in revenue, which is just amazing to think about. And now for the next part of this video, let's take a deeper look at the little details of this deal closing. So since Alcana is being acquired, their shares will transfer into SNDL shares. And the two companies agreed that for each share an investor owns of Alcana, they'll receive 8.85 shares of SNDL and $1.50 in cash. And from my understanding, this will not increase the amount of shares Sundial has outstanding and the previous Alcana shareholders will take up 13.4% of SNDL's outstanding shares. And I could be wrong about if the outstanding shares will change or not, but from my understanding, they will not, but please correct me if I am wrong. And also a cease trade order has been filed today with the Alberta Securities Commission, and this will begin the process of Alcana shares transferring, and transferring into SNDL shares, excuse me. And this filing also delays Alcana's audited earnings results. So now we'll also see Alcana's earnings be reported when Sundial reports their earnings on April 14th. And unfortunately, with the great news coming out today, this wasn't enough to propel SNDL back into the green as we are still in the red by more than 2%. And mostly the entire stock market was down today, but what led to the cannabis sector and SNDL crashing down even more is that we got negative news regarding cannabis legalization. So it appears that we'll not see cannabis be federally legalized just yet, but we still have the chamber vote tomorrow and there's still a chance we could see something positive. But today the negative news set us back just a little bit and I took this opportunity to buy more shares because I do not believe we'll be down at these levels for too much longer. And now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's get right to these price predictions. So after everything we talked about in this video, where can we see SNDL go tomorrow, Friday, April 1st? So after running up so much recently, SNDL has fallen into the red once again, and even with the amazing news of the acquisition officially closing, that was not enough to get us back in the green with the entire stock market seeing a red day. But I think tomorrow there's a good chance we can bounce back as more and more people start to understand and realize the significance of this acquisition closing. And also tomorrow we will be getting more news on campus legalization which could help SNDL run up even more. So in my honest opinion, I believe SNDL will go up about 2-3% to tomorrow and pretty much recover from the losses we saw today. And I expect us at a high of 75 cents and a low of 69 cents, but I think we'll most likely stay around 73 cents for most of the day. And of course, please remember guys that I am not a financial advisor and there's no guarantee that what I say will be correct. So please make sure you guys also do your own research and form your own opinions. And that is going to be all for this video guys and I would love to hear what you guys think about where SNDL could go tomorrow. So feel free to comment your price predictions down below. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys all had a great day today. Thank you all for watching. Good luck ladies and gentlemen and peace out.